WWE fans actually hear brief. Before the video starts, make sure to watch till the end. And if you don't, well, it's simply your loss. You guys, another WWE Shop unboxing. You guys voted on this belt, and now I'm gonna unbox it. It is the WWE Universal Championship Fiend Belt. Who's that? Who knows? All right, it was the WWE Universal Championship Fiend Belt. So you guys voted on that. I completely did not split this, but who cares? I'm so excited for this, guys. It is the most unique and different, strangest, creepiest championship belt ever. So we're gonna get this bad boy out. Oops. So these plates, they're actually, they don't have plates. It is all like a, a foam rubber leather combination or something. And the original version to this title was over $6,500 in WWE Shop. And I'm just like, there's no way I'm gonna spend $6,500 on a belt that's been around for two months. And then they dropped it down to $430. It's a much more reasonable price. And this belt looks freaking long. We gotta talk about this belt bag, guys. This is one of the major parts of the belt, is look how unique this Fiend belt, belt, belt bag is. You got the gold face right there with the pink eyes. You got the dreads. It says the Fiend Bray Wyatt. You got this really different material for the belt bag. It's like, it's very nice. I don't know, it, it feels, yeah, it matches his pants. These are like pretty much his pants, but the belt bag. So it's, it's so freaking cool, guys. Like that's one of the plus sides of getting this belt is that it's like the full package, you know? The belt bag is for the fiend, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna get this thing unzipped. And surprisingly, even though there's not metal plates on this belt, it's surprisingly actually pretty heavy. It's probably like six pounds. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, this thing is so unique. And first glance on the back, we'll, we'll, we'll get a detailed look. All right, so we're just gonna reveal this thing. All right, in three, you ready to be scared? All right, there is your warning. Three, two, one. Is he here? Oh! What the heck? What the? <laughs> wow! Holy cow! All right, so we're gonna get a nice detailed look at this belt. This thing is so freaking creepy. I'm gonna have freaking nightmares after this video. All right, so. Pulling this back, we get this really nice kind of like mushy kind of material, like a, almost like a, I don't know, like a rubber type. And we have the fiend face right there, which is probably the most iconic part of the belt. And then you got his eyes, and these eyes are like, they feel like real eyeballs. Like, it's insane. And as you know, Bray Wyatt wears those contact lenses with the weird red and yellow combination, so that's that's accurate right away. Uh, you got his teeth. This is pretty much just like the Fiend mask. It is the Fiend mask. And then you got like the chin and all these nice coloration uh, just going around. It's amazing. And a horror film uh, artist actually painted this belt. And it said that even though he doesn't make the belts, it said in the description that he paints them individually. So each belt is unique. So that's very interesting. Uh, and this doesn't have snaps, it has belt buckles. Pretty cool. Also has Velcro in case you don't want to use the, the belt buckles. And then as you can see right there, it says let right there. And has all this like stitching, like as if like he ripped a body up, his body up and he like stitched it back together. And then over here it says in, has let me in. Some more stitching going throughout. And it just looks like, like, a dead body or something. It's creepy. It is so creepy. This would be so perfect for Halloween. And then we have the iconic Fiend straps for the mask. And these are actually metal right here. These little rivet things. And I think they might actually be screws. I'm not sure. But it says hurt in red. And then it says heal, hurt heal. And then the same on this side, it says hurt heal. This thing is in. Same. Let's get it around the back. 
and it has this nice kind of wood, soft, smooth feeling to it. And you can see more of like the stitching. And then we have the Velcro right there. That's excellent. And we also get the belt buckles right there. And they look like they have this like kind of like a scratched up look to it, which is good because that's so, that's accurate. I mean, it's supposed to look dirty and just creepy. We also get the WWE stitching on the back telling you it's freaking legit. More of the smooth backing. We got more of the buckles. Insane. There are their freaking screws right there. And this thing is very interesting, and I'm going to point this out right now, but it's strange because it looks like there's a strap right there, but then there's like an extra coating of like, as if he took the universal belt and he like put his own design over the plates and all that. And I think that's very unique, and I love how they did that. At first, you know, like every time a new belt is revealed, I'm a little like iffy about it just because it's new. Like, I didn't like the Universal Championship so much at first, but then I liked it in like two weeks. And that's like, that goes for all of these belts right here. Even for like the AEW belt. And same with this belt right here. Like at first I'm like, whoa, what the heck is that? It's like a, his face. But then when he made his awesome entrance and it's like the belt right here around his face and then it came down and you saw his other face, it was like a horror film. And this thing is excellent for Bray Wyatt. Now we're going to demonstrate how to use the Velcro and the belt buckles right now. Somebody's saying let me in. Yeah, somebody, <laughs> whoa, somebody is saying let me in. Let's see who's saying it. It's good old Jeffrey. <laughs> so let's start with the Velcro because it's the easiest. You're just going to take it around based off how big your waist is and you're just going to go boom. There you go. Now you can put it around your waist with that Velcro. That's how the WWE Championships are in real life, but if you want to have it more accurate, you can do this. It's kind of hard to show, but boom. And boom. And boom. There you go. All buckled up. Ray White never actually wears this around his waist, so I'm just gonna be demonstrating it and putting it right here because that's how he does it. This probably needs to be a little bit more tight, so it's like this, but that's pretty much how he does it. And the cool thing I like about this championship is like, it's not like a title that he really like bends and holds up because it's not for that. It's just more of like the show. Like, I when he's in the ring, he just takes this and he just chucks it in the ring. Because it's not like they're like, like, metal plates with jewels it's just like this like beat up like fiend title like he massacred somebody and he just like said screw it and he put it all over this strap and you can see more of it over here this strap very interesting how epic so this thing is just insane who knows if this is the six thousand five hundred dollar version I highly doubt it is, um, but it's still really nice, and I think it's definitely worth the price because you know it's it may not be metal plates with jewels and all that, but it's it's so accurate to the TV one. You can't really even tell the difference because on TV you have the red lighting with the fiend and his entrance. So this thing is just so accurate. I'm so glad I have this in my collection. Uh, this is my third Universal Championship. If you count the blue one, I know a lot of people are like, the blue one's not really the universal, but blah, blah, blah. So let's get the red belt down. This one, super cool. I think that kind of looks nice. Um, but what's funny about this is, real, this is relating to The Fiend. Uh, like four days before I met Seth Rollins, he lost the Universal Championship to The Fiend. And then four days later, I got this belt signed by Seth Rollins. So, yeah. The Fiend's title reign began four days before I got this belt done. And then this is the blue Universal Championship. Yeah, no, it doesn't say Universal, but look at the freaking color. So here's all three versions of the Universal Championship we've seen so far. Comment down below which one you like more. I think it's so great and it like it hypes up the Universal title so much more that we've gotten. Like every champion like once in a while has their own version of the championship. And The Fiend has his own version of the Universal. So I think that's epic. We've had three different versions. It's freaking sick. I mean, look, even Jeffrey likes it. 
Remember guys, all you got to do in order to become the Fiend Universal Champion is let him in.